All right, everybody, we're a few days into November now, and it's time to talk about the rest of the month and what does the November lineup look like pushing into December. So we're deep into Dragon Age Veilgrad right now, and that is going to be the main game all the way up until November 20th. Now, when November 20th hits, I'm going to be picking up Stalker 2. I have not played the first Stalker game. I doubt I'm going to have time to play the first game leading up to Stalker 2. I have seen um, videos, and it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like this is going to be a really cool com kind of combination of like shooter game with RPG, like an FPS RPG style, and I really like the sound of that. And the story is what kind of intrigues me, because there's like this sci-fi element mixed in with sort of modern aspects of gameplay. And originally, I was just going to play the Game Pass version of the game, but when I watched the documentary, which I think I covered, I did a reaction video too, maybe, I want to say six weeks ago, whenever it aired uh, on the making of Starker 2 is what prompted me to say, you know what, I'm not going to do just the Game Pass version of the same. I'm going to go all in with the uh, Ultimate Edition um, to support the developers. And also, it comes with a bunch of other stuff. I'm a big fan of DLCs for the games that I like to play, so I have no problem pre-ordering DLCs through Ultimate Editions. So I actually just picked up the Ultimate Edition uh, this morning, getting prepped and ready to go. So that's the first big game that we're going to be playing in November outside of Dragon Age of Aelgard. Um On the 21st, which is the day after Stalker 2 drops, we've got the story DLC for Star Wars Outlaws. Now I pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition of Star Wars Outlaws, so I have access to this story DLC and the story DLC that's coming next year. So this one I'll be jumping into as well. It will not be a mainstream game. What we will likely be doing is on the 20th, and when we transition over, um, I'll definitely on the 20th be playing Stalker 2 all day. Um, that's how you know the Xbox is going AFK on you. Um, and then on the 21st, what I'll probably be doing is like the first half of the stream, we will do Stalker 2. The second half of the stream, we will do the Star Wars uh, Outlaws DLC. And we'll probably repeat that schedule for a day or two. I don't anticipate the story DLC for uh, Star Wars Outlaws to be very long, a few hours at most. So I would anticipate, you know, a couple of days maybe... Um, I don't know, they could surprise me and come out with a, you know, Bethesda-style DLC where it's like 15, 20 hours of gameplay, in which case it'll take us several days to get through. But uh, I don't know yet, and I just don't know, so we'll wait and see. But that will be the schedule once that happens, as we will do Stalker 2 during the first half of the stream, and then Star Wars Outlaws during the second half of the stream, until such time as we are finished with um, Star Wars Outlaws DLC. And then it'll be just Stalker 2 for the rest of the month. I may... Depending on traffic, just depends on how Stalker 2 performs and how everything is going and if I have the desire to do so, I may work on a little bit of a second Dragon Age Veilguard playthrough through the latter half of the month just to satisfy my own personal craving for testing some mage gameplay. Uh, but the big thing here is just Dragon Age Veilguard into Stalker 2, into Star Wars Outlaws, and then we're just on the march to December which in and of itself is going to be a jam-packed month. We've got um, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, which I just also picked up the Ultimate Edition of this morning. Um, wait, it's that one right there. I was pointing at the wrong one. Um, one of these. I can't see because it's small on my screen, and I'm not looking at the actual screen right now. Um, that's going to be December 6th. I went ahead and pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition of that as well, which comes with three-day Head Start access. So we'll talk more about that when we get into December, but that's the big thing. In addition, here in November... We are coming up on our one-year anniversary of our uh, Risen Guild in World of Warcraft. And we just had a really cool guild meeting the other night after the raid. And we are going to be opening up recruitment as well as promoting um, several new people into officer status. So shout out to Duck, uh, Lips, and Rainy for their support over the past few months and really taking charge and leading World of Warcraft, uh, leading our World of Warcraft guild into exciting new places alongside Maduros and Babylonia and everybody else. Um, and as a result, we're promoting Rainy Duck and Lips, and they are going to be new officers now who are going to be heading a brand new kind of push into the social side of the game. 
which means we're going to be recruiting not for the raid team, but we are going to be recruiting for the social community. So people who have been asking about joining our World of Warcraft guild, I will have a post coming out this week with more details on that and how you can get your application in and get set up to join us as we continue our march through the War Within and into everything else around the World Soul Saga. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I need coffee. And it's early, and I have Dragon Age Veilguard to get to. So hopefully we'll see you in the stream today. Daily streams, as always, on YouTube and Twitch at 8 or 9 a.m. Central Time is when I start. And we got a lot of DA Veilguard to get through, so hopefully we'll see you there. And don't forget Stalker 2, Star Wars Outlaws, and more fun coming in the month of November. Don't forget the socials, the Discord, and the Patreon, and I'll see everybody in the next one. Stay safe. Happy gaming.